I hope you welcome to today's tutorial. This is Classic Touch DIY. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you are just joining us, thank you. I welcome you all. So for this stuff, I'll be teaching today the full fan segment today. I have my sego. I have my sego here already. So I'll be taking the measurements. The first measurement I want to take now is the base. Okay. So I can start from here as it is unfold. So you take your measuring tape. I want to cut out the base now. So the base is going to be um I will measure 19 inches. Okay, this is 19 inches. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside. Then you need to measure um, the width of your sego also. Take the width measurement from here like this. So this, this is 19. So it's like um if you want to divide it into three, that's like um six and some inches. So let's say I'll, I'll still need to cut one more. So I'll be cutting say like six inches or seven inches more by 19 to add to this one. Then before I proceed with that, the next thing I'll be cutting now is um 50 inches. That is going to serve as my fan. 50 inches. I'll measure it this way. But one thing you want to note is we want um this side. I want this side. Sorry about that. I need to adjust my camera. Okay, so I want this side that has um this scissors cut, this cut here to be the edge of my fan. So I'm going to be starting my, my measurement from there. So it's going to be 50 inches still measuring so this is 50 inches this is where my 50 inches is right, so I'm going to cut this from there so now it depends on how wide I want it to be so I want it to be like 14 inches so that if how, how wide you make it will determine how high the fan is going to go. Okay, so you can try to reduce yours if you are trying to manage your segment. So make it like say, or let me make it um okay, eleven inches. Eleven inches. Let's make it eleven inches. It's not straight. That's why I try to adjust my cutting there. So take it all the way down. I'm going to cut it up like that. So that is my measurements for the fan is fifty inches by eleven inches. Okay, so I've cut out, I've cut it out already. This is 50 inches by 11 inches. This is going to be for our fan. I'm going to set this one aside. And you remember I said I'll be cutting um, another 7 inches by 19 inches to complete my base. But by the time I pleat some of this, what I will have left will not be able to cover the air at the back. So I just need to add some to it. So let me cut that out. It by 19. I'm measuring the 19 out now. Plaster. I'm measuring five inches for the for the plaster to unfold with the two and a half. Can you see? Five inches for the plaster, but unfold is what two and a half. Okay. So I'm cutting that two times. For the plaster, what we need is just the width. The length doesn't really matter, okay? The length can be 5 inches, it can be 6 inches, it depends. But just, if I try to make it 6 inches, this excess here, to just be of width, there's nothing I want to do. That's why I just leave it like that. I'm still going to cut it off though, I just leave it like that. So, but the standard measurement is you cutting 5, um, five inches in width. Why this one can be 6, can be 5? Cannot be 4, because your, the, the, the width, the length of your velcro, your plaster is four inches or four and a half inches. So it's that you make it five or six or seven. So I'll just set this one aside like this for the plaster. Then I need another one. It's gonna be the plaster older. That one is always two inches. Can you see two inches? I'm going to cut it into two. So two inches, two places. So 
depends on how long you want it to be. You can make it shorter, you can make it two inches, you can make it three or four or five. So this doesn't really matter. What we need is the width, which is two inches. Okay, so I'm going to be keeping this one for my handle, but I don't know what I'm going to give him for the hand. So by the time I finish forming my fan, I will, then that, that will determine what I'm going to be giving for the handle. I'm just going to join it to the hand of the fan. So that's all we need for now. So, so thank you for subscribing. So now I'm going to, I will go to my sewing machine. I will take this one, join it to this. I'll join it to this like this. And I'll try to make some feet, see, four to five feet. Then I'm going, I'll, I'll fix my plaster. I'll fix my plaster too and the plaster holder. So if you don't know how to do this, I'm going to be dropping the link below in the description box for you to um, watch the video on how to how to um, sew your auto gilly piece okay so i'll do this and i'll come back to show you the next video all right so this is the 50 um 50 inches by 11 inches that i cut for the fan so the first thing you need to do is you need to locate the front and the back of your sebo so this is the back why this is the front and this is the um the scissors cut that i felt i want it to be at the edge of my fan so what you're going to be doing now is i, I will take my measuring tape and measure 11 inches from the down part here okay 11 inches so i'm going to hold that side this is 11 inches and here just use your thing to hold it like that and here it's just going to be four inches or say four and a half inches that is the down part here 11 inches why at the side here i'm using four and a half inches so i'm just to hold it like this I'll put the 11 inches back also. Then, as you all know, how we form our fan. Okay? Like that. Let me adjust my camera. Okay, so at that point, where you put like this, and I'll use my pin to hold it down. how it was you just throw this one in like this and, and you use your fair okay so i'll just be forming my thumb with it like that so at this point i'll start stacking so i'm taking it to the back you can stack anyhow there's no rigid rule about stacking what we just need to do is stack each of the picks down in such a way that it won't lose and you still achieve your desired style okay so i'm bringing my my needle from the down part like this and start the first one so that is the first piece i made starting it down I'll remove the pin then the second one too And see this second one, it didn't come out from here. I let it come out from the back of the feet. Okay, so that, that's how we'll be stacking the rest of the feet now. Coming, then we... Okay, let me quickly do this. My thread has tangled here. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. Instead of the, my needle coming out from here, from this side, I take it to the back. So it's coming out from the back of the feet. Okay, so this is where it's coming out from. So you just draw it like that and bring it back from that side and bring it back to the down part. Okay, so I'm going to be coming with it now. See? Take the piece again, the next one, and come to this side. So you just be forming your fan feet from here. Just start forming the fan feet. And just keep on going like that. Very easy. Okay. So this is it. So you now shift this one to the side. So this is the beginning of our fan. The beginning of our fan, you hold it like that. 
so at this point you can sack you can pleat as many as you want before sacking so from here now I want to sack take it inside table can be a little, a very a little bit um hard to sack so you just have to sack it okay so coming out from here i'll take it all the way down back inside Remember, this is the beginning of our feet. You can use your needle to hold it down like that. Then you continue your coming up. Then this is what we have. Just continue forming the feet like that. So once you pleat like two, three, four, you tack again. getting to the sides okay so when you get to this side you will have to reduce it so there's a way you form the pan when you get to this side because if you continue like that you just have a bigger pan that will be bigger than the the, the the desired length okay so when i get to this point immediately when you get to this point so i've pleated like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so twelve pleat depending on how long you want yours to be so you now get to this side now you focus your attention on this side okay just look at what I'm doing. Now I'm taking my feet. Everything is still going to stay stop at this point. This another one is still going to stop at this point. This another one. Yes, they are stopping at that point. That same point. Okay. Another one stops. Can you see what I have now? So now we want to start. I use the press to hold it. Then I'll tack, I'll put the first tack like two, like four. I'm tacking four now. Two, three, four. Tack four like that. Okay, so I'll come to this side and tack everything together. Make sure you arrange it very well before tacking together. And I'll just come here and tack everything together. So table can be very very hard to start. So you take it one by one. Take it one by one. You start it one by one like that. So I have to start again. So let me insert it. So now I've tacked it together. So this is what I have after tacking. What I have after tacking, you see. So the next thing for us now is to tack it to the base. Okay, to tack it to the base. So if you still want to add pleats underneath your pan, you can add it to it. That means you first pleat the your, your pleats um to the base, you tack it, then you now tack your pan. Okay. So after that, what I'm going to be doing next is I'll cut since I have I still have um enough space here, I'm going to knot this one here and I'll tack this place two together. I'll pack it together at this side too. Then I'll cut say like um, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches in length. Why in width will be like seven inches. I will add it, I will join it to the edge, the edge here. That is going to be, um, it's, it's going to stand uh, as my handle, which I'm going to use to pack. And I'll do the same thing for this side too. I'll cut 10 inches by seven inches. That is 10 inches in length by seven inches. I will join it to the space. That's going to be my handle. So if I still want to add, and please underneath your fan, right? I think I'm okay with this. So just the next one is to join it to the base. So I've joined the 10, 10 inches to the handle of the fan. Then I'll fix this one too. So all you need to do now is fold this your base into two, like this. Make sure you connect the, uh, the middle of the dummy too. Then you try to find the middle of your fan. By holding it like this to locate the needle. 
So this is the finished look. Can you see? Let me show you the back. Also, this is the back. So thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you are just joining us, please subscribe and click the notification button so that you can get notified each time I drop a new video. And feel free to leave a comment below and share with your loved ones. Thank you. Bye.